Africa's automotive market is still considered to be relatively small. In 2014, for instance, there were just over 42.5 million registered vehicles in use in Africa, a continent of approximately 1 billion people. As a result, the motorization rate on the continent was only pegged at 44 vehicles per 1,000 inhabitants. In 2015, approximately 1.55 million new vehicles were sold or registered across Africa, South Africa, Egypt, Algeria and Morocco, all countries with established and rapidly developing automotive industries, together accounted for more than 80% of total new vehicle sales in 2015. Based on recent sales trends, some sources estimate that Africa's passenger vehicle sales could reach up to 10 million units per annum within the next 10 years. Ghana's quest to build a local automobile industry has not started off without challenges and opposition. Government says the passage of the Customs Amendment Bill 2020, which bans the importation of second-hand cars of more than 10 years old, as well as salvage cars, also known as accident cars, will take effect from October this year. The Automobile Dealers Union of Ghana and other interested parties have been up in arms against the policy, calling for a review to sustain their businesses. They have cited possible job losses should the implementation kickstart. Although the implementation will lead to an estimated revenue loss of approximately 802.25 million cities for the first three years, government believes the benefits largely outweigh the losses as the new amendments will boost the Ghana Automotive Manufacturing Program, which has so far attracted several car assembly plants into the country. Already, Toyota and Suzuki have formally committed to set up car assembly plants in Ghana. This was after Volkswagen, Nissan and Sinotrack also expressed an interest in Ghana. VW recently launched the first set of locally assembled cars, while discussions pertaining to the operations of Renault, Kia and Hyundai are also ongoing. Speaking during the first ever Virtual Africa Automotive Forum, organized by Deloitte and the African Association of Automotive Manufacturers, on the theme Enabling Policy by Government, Mr. Alan Tremartin admitted that government had to be aggressive in passing the legislation to create the enabling environment to kickstart Ghana's automobile industry. He thus urged African governments to take steps to engage all relevant stakeholders to get the buy-in of local consumers. The important thing uh, that needs to be done is improving our business regulatory uh, environment in general to make our country's attractive investment destination. That, that's number one. Yeah. Number two is being able to develop a very specific targeted uh, policy frameworks and legislation. Obviously, uh, you cannot do this without the OES. Uh, my advice uh, would be that since we need to carry the uh, general population and consumers along with us in developing the industry, uh, that in our engagement with government, that we generally agree on, number one, a phased approach that allows the buy-in of local consumers over uh, a period of time. The, the future of the auto industry in Africa lies in an integrated regional approach, which will be a win-win uh, uh, for different countries with different uh, specializations. The CEO of the African Association of Automotive Manufacturers, Dave Coffey, said collaboration at all levels is required to achieve the vision of making the continent a powerhouse in the automobile industry. It is the view of the Association of Automotive Manufacturers that there are opportunities in Africa's young and growing population with rapid urbanization, hence the need to unlock its potential in the automotive industry owing to a growing vehicle demand to become a true industry competitor. I just want to assure from our members' perspective, the, the global automotive organization, they are committed to not the SKD. We, 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 we're strongly driving the CKD on the continent, real industrialization. Uh, we understand and support this is not a short-term journey. It's going to take time, 
and we are committed to that time. The automotive industry practitioners who participated in the forum include Masa Sugano, Deputy Executive Director, Africa Region of Japan External Trade Organization, JETRO, Mike Mabesa, CEO of the National Association of Automobile Manufacturers of South Africa, Anthony Black, a professor in the School of Economics at the University of Cape Town, Mike Whitefield, President of the Association of Automotive Manufacturers and Chairman of Nissan Group, as well as Dr. Sahal Nasi, former Minister of Investment and International Corporation, Egypt. The next two sessions of the forum are slated for 16th and 30th September, respectively, to discuss regional value chains and driving affordability and mobility solutions. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the business dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7 p.m. only on City TV.